Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Which 
piece is that? I know what number five is, all right? <laughs> What's the first one? Good, what's the second one? Brilliant, what's the third one? Wow, what's the fourth one? Fantastic, and therefore what's the fifth one? No, you said that already. Which one have you not said? Oh yeah, but that's number six, isn't it? We know that's the last one. Which variation have you not said yet? Do you want to phone a friend? Which friend in the room are you going to call? Bring, 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 bring. That's what phones used to do in the older days. <laughs> Can you ask me? <laughs> Which one haven't we said? If we've said busy, busy, stop, stop, Doctor Suzuki, stop pony, stop pony, Nelly the elephant, and. Best bow hold there. Brilliantos. Well done. Found it up? Right on your shoulder? Good work, sweetie. Good. Beautiful waterfall. Oh, yeah. Let's just get rid of that a little bit. You don't have to put your thumb up, just your wrist straight. Lovely. Land on the right track. Good. Big bows. Big bows. Well done.
really, really nice. Well done, move that car. Good work, honey. Good straight bows. How about a dog sticker? Sunglasses. Who are you going to put them on?
enjoyed a bit. That was a really good effort. But we forgot the E. One, E, 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 three, E, two, three. Wait. 
nest? No, the, the foam ones, oh, the, the multicoloured ones. You can make oh, boxes okay. out of them. What? Shall I show you? Yeah. I'll show you quickly. No, oh, well, do you want to come and have a play before the lesson?
not pleasant for a while, this is just going to be something that we stick to, then it will probably come good again. But there are also lots of things that you can try at the same time as like, oh, what's up? At the same time as trying to make sure that your response to him looking for attention by being a bit naughty is to ignore it rather than, I mean, not ignore it, like not discipline him, but to, to try and find a way like the naughty step or something else. I'm sure there are a million different ways to do it um, that are not rewarding his subconscious needs with it. But also, at the same time, obviously, like carrot and stick, we want to try and make practice a really pleasant experience. Mm -hmm. um, if you look on our website, there's a, uh, on their parent hub, there's practice help. And there's one specifically about my child doesn't want to practice. Sometimes it's that it's the wrong time of day. I think, obviously, as a home ed fam family, you've got less structured routines mm -hmm. than children who go to school. But maybe it's worth looking at trying to put in place a routine for violin. Um, and I think, you know, like the, even if it's a different time of day, it will be helpful for the kids to know when they're expected to do it. Like, does it even, if, even, it might even just be like, does it happen in the morning or does it happen in the afternoon? Like, if it's happening just before bedtime because you've got to the end of the day and you're like, oh my God, we haven't done any violin and we've only done it twice this week and Kate's going to kill me, then that's guaranteed to be a horrible practice. And it's better to just leave it. Um, yeah, I know you said because Miles is sometimes there. I've got an idea for some TV time. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think it is also really tricky in a family where you're all there all together all the time. Yeah. And, you know, the, there's probably, again, mostly subconscious, but maybe partly conscious, an awareness that Noel's quite keen and will do it. And therefore a way to kind of like demonstrate his different, his difference, difference differentness, difference yeah. from Noel is to kind of play up and, and to appear to not want to do it. But I feel like really... Um, Riker, I feel really encouraged by the fact that you had the opportunity to change the trumpet and then you decided not to. So I do believe that you do really want to play the violin. It's just maybe we need to find ways that make it more easy for you to do at the moment when mum's asking you. Does that sound like a good thing? Yeah. 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 So I think some really basic things like set a timer for 15 minutes. Well, no. Set a time for 15 minutes hence and set a timer on your phone or whatever for 10 minutes and then give them a five minute warning. So say, okay, it's quarter past three, kids are gonna practice, or Riker, we're gonna practice at half past three. In 10 minutes time, I'll give you a five minute warning. And then you set the timer again and the second timer is like, okay, it's time to get on the mat. Yeah. Um, to, to have enough space to get through like five things with a, with a gap in between. So like read a book, make a Lego tower, do something where it's like, okay, you've done that really well, that one piece, let's put the violin down and do something that's cuddly or fun or run around or do some star jumps or whatever it is. Okay. But, you know, have in your mind, okay, we're going to practice for half an hour. The actual practice he's doing is going to be about 10 minutes. Okay. But that will just give you the sense of, like, relaxation mm -hmm. that you're not trying to get it done in 15 minutes. Because if you're trying to get 10 minutes practice done in 15 minutes, you're going to be really stressed out. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the benefits of having a less structured school, you know, like, not because, because of not going to school life that you presumably there are days when you can find more time and be like, okay, you go watch that half an hour program, we're gonna do the practice. Yes, you can, you know, whatever whatever thing you can do in between, build it into the practice. Um, and then I think the treats and, you know, like having, are you quite competitive, Riker? Do you like to win competitions and yeah, things? Yeah, he does. Do you like challenges? No. Can you let Riker speak for himself, darling? <laughs> What are the things that you like to do? Annoying me. <laughs> You're annoying me right now. <laughs> what are the things you like to do? What would you do if I could say now, right now you could do anything you want, what would it be if you were at home? What's your favourite thing to do at home? Should we ask mummy? Do you like it when mommy reads books to you? Do you like building stuff? Yeah. Yeah? Um, do you like, you know, collecting? Well, you've got a massive sticker collection there. Well, I do also 
I found lots of coins and stuff. Lots of coins. Okay, so you could have a yeah. you could go to a shop for special treat and you could choose I'm not talking about very much money. You could choose a bowl that's your bowl and a bowl that's mommy's bowl just for violin practice, couldn't you? And then you could collect like coins or chocolate drops or little coloured matchsticks or pom-poms, whatever. You've got loads of small things. Uh -huh. And in your practice, you could say, every time you do something good, mummy's going to, like the car game, every time you do something good, mummy's going to put one in your bowl. And if you do something silly or you're not being well behaved, she's going to put one in her bowl. And then you could keep a little log of who's winning. And then maybe if you get to a hundred things that you've done in your practices, you could organise, I don't know. Or something. Go to the cinema or do something fun or mm -hmm. get a new game or whatever. Yeah? I mean, I really feel for you. <laughs> You've got a really, really, really tough job with a little tiny one who's like, especially now very vocal and wants your attention all the time, and two bigger ones with very different personalities doing the same instrument. It, mm. It's you, you know, you're doing really well just to keep the show on the road. <laughs> uh, but that is the those are the things that I kind of recommend okay. for trying to make it easy and just try not to stress about it because, okay. like, how old are you, Wiper? I mean, sorry, I said earlier you were five. I know, so that's why I asked because I thought that was wrong when I said it. So, you know, hopefully he's got 12 more years. So if this year he doesn't do very much practice and he doesn't make very much progress, you know, like, as long as you don't quit, play the violin. Well, you might play the violin for the rest of your life, but I mean formal violin lessons and groups. You could play violin. Being at Suzuki Hub until you're one of the big kids. Have you seen the big kids in the... In the concerts? No. Playing really hard, fast pieces? No. Well, if you stick yeah. around, you're going to be one of them. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so, you know, just try and keep the long view in mind. Okay. Make little improvements each practice, each week. Um, but don't, like, think, oh my god, I've got to get this sorted this week, otherwise something terrible is going to happen. Nothing yeah. terrible is going to happen, you know. And, some, oh, and, and for some kids, you know, stopping is the answer. Like, I hope it's not for you. I really hope that all my students will continue so that they can have the benefits of brilliant experiences and, you know, cognitive and etc. etc. all the brilliant things. Mm -hmm. You know, when they're adults, some of which will have come already and he'll have for life whether or not he ever touches the violin again, but most take, you know, 10 years to embed and, and so you have to, like, keep going. But, you know, like I said at the very beginning of this whole chat, there are plenty of amazing people in the world who don't play an instrument. Yeah. It's not the be all and end all. But, you know, yeah, let's keep talking and see okay, we'll try how we can make it easier for you <laughs> as well. And I think that's the other thing, just keep making the emphasis on for him. Okay, Shall we practice this to make it easier, not better? Because, you know, the kids want things to be better, but mostly they want it to be easier. Because yeah. when things are a struggle, it's really tough. Okay, and I think that you can make your Ocom Little Children easier enough that next week you'll get your credit. What do you think? If you do your practice with your mum and you really, really focus and try hard in your practices, then you'll be absolutely brilliant at it because it will be so easy for you to find next week. And if you don't, then we'll have this conversation again. <laughs> okay. I just remembered this is still going. Are you happy for me to keep all of that on film? Yes. Great. Thank you. So helpful to have... Oh, my God. Open. So helpful to have a computer that doesn't work. So helpful for people to have those kind of chats online. Hope that was helpful. Bye.